Hello friends, welcome back to Cooking with Grace. If you are new to my channel, please press the subscription and bell button to get all my recipes I will be posting regularly. Today, let's try a traditional or Narden beef stew. This is an excellent dish and favorite in Kerala which is served on festives like Christmas, New Year, Easter or even regular Sundays. In Kochi, we call it as beef ishtu which is favorite among most. This simple coconut milk based curry is mild spiced and has a unique taste. Appam and stew is considered to be the best combination at home. Here I have taken 500 grams beef cleaned and cut into half inch cubes. I have taken with little fat as this enhances taste but if you are conscious on health you can avoid the fat part. Adding meat to a pressure cooker also in goes 3 slitted green chilli 2 sliced garlic pieces half tablespoon sliced ginger few curry leaves for aromatic flavoring now adding raw whole spices starting with 4 cloves half teaspoon peppercorns 1 inch piece cinnamon 4 cardamom also adding 1 teaspoon salt and 3 4 cup of water. Mix and close the lid. I have purchased tender meat so after 4 whistles switch off the burner. In the meantime we will clean and cook the vegetables that need to go into the stew. I have taken here 1 large potato and 1 medium carrot. Clean the vegetables and add this to water. Let it cook in that water. Once cooked, peel off the skin and cut to half inch cubes and keep this aside. Once pressure is released by itself, check if the meat is soft. Yes, it's soft and done. Now we'll do the tempering. Heat two tablespoon coconut oil in a pan and add one sliced big onion. Adding a teaspoon of salt to fasten frying process. Saute for a few minutes till the onions are soft and pinkish. Adding one tablespoon maida or you can add rice flour to thicken the gravy. Stir this for a minute. Then add in beef with its broth. Also adding one and a half cup of thin coconut milk. Mix it and bring to boil. We will now add pre-cooked potato and carrot chops and let it simmer in this for about two to three minutes. Check for salt and add if required. So it's about 2 to 3 minutes. Now adding half cup of thick coconut milk and immediately switch off the burner just before the boiling. For the final tempering into a small pan add 1 tablespoon ghee or clarified butter and once it's hot add in 3-4 thinly sliced shallots or kunuli and when it's half fried we will add 10 broken cashew nuts and about 10 raisins. And when it's fried well, adding half teaspoon pepper powder and half teaspoon garam masala powder. Give it a good mix and pour this onto the curry. Do try this delicious stew for breakfast with palapam or bread and I am sure you will enjoy it. I will be waiting for your comments. See you soon.